The objectives for this video are to learn how to recognize a binomial experiment and how to calculate a binomial probability. A binomial experiment is a probability experiment that satisfies the following four requirements. There must be a fixed number of trials. Each trial can have only two outcomes or outcomes that can be reduced to two outcomes. These outcomes can be considered as either success or failure. The outcomes of each trial must be independent of one another. The probability of a success must remain consistent from trial to trial. We will let n represent the number of trials. p will represent the numerical probability of a success. q will represent the numerical probability of a failure, which will also be the complement of p. X will represent the number of successes. The formula for the probability of exactly X successes in N trials is the probability of X equal to N factorial divided by N minus X factorial times X factorial multiplied by P raised to the X times Q raised to the N minus X. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 23% of the U.S. workforce in 2015 was employed in the wholesale and retail trade industry. If eight U.S. workers are randomly selected, what is the probability that exactly three are employed in the wholesale and retail trade industry? Let's check and make sure that all of the criteria for the binomial experiment are satisfied. There must be a fixed number of trials. Eight workers will be randomly selected, so n will be eight. Each trial can have only two outcomes or outcomes that can be reduced to two outcomes. These outcomes can be considered as either success or failure. There are only two possible outcomes. Either the selected worker is employed in the wholesale and retail trade industry or not. So we will assign a success as the event that a selected worker is employed in the wholesale and retail trade industry. The outcomes of each trial must be independent of one another. The employment industry of one randomly selected employee is not influenced by the industry of employment of another. So the outcomes of each trial would be independent of one another. The probability of a success must remain consistent from trial to trial. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that 23% of the U.S. workforce in 2015 was employed in the wholesale and retail industry. So the probability of a success will remain constant at 0.23. And the probability of a failure will remain constant at 1 minus 0.23, which is equal to 0.77. Since we have determined that the criteria for a binomial experiment are satisfied, we can use the formula for calculating a binomial probability to find this probability. So we will substitute 8 for n, 3 for x, 0.23 for p, and 0.77 for q in the formula. So the probability that exactly three out of eight randomly selected U.S. workers in 2015 would be employed in the wholesale and retail trade industry would be 0.1844. In this video, we learned how to recognize a binomial experiment and how to calculate a binomial probability.